Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really good day so far. So if I am looking slightly paler than usual, that's because I don't have any blusher or bronzer on yet. Because in today's video, we're going to be trying out the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Universe and Universal Lock Palettes. These launched recently and they're part of their 2021 Christmas collection. I'm really excited to try these, but I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know, swatch all the shades, try them on, and also do some comparisons with previous palettes. So grab yourself a drink, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into the video. These are what the two palettes look like and both have this marble effect packaging. The lighter one is the Universe palette and the darker the Universe Unlocked. I was watching Teresa Is Dead recently and she mentioned that it reminds her of those marble laptop sleeves that all of the influencers used to have a few years ago and I totally agree. Um, the packaging this year is metal though so not the usual plastic. I'm not really sure how I feel about this to be honest with you but on the plus side it doesn't leave sort of fingerprint marble marks like the older packaging does which does irritate me a little bit so that's a positive. Both of these palettes retail for £78 or $80 and you're getting five products inside. There is a finishing powder, two blush shades, a highlight and a bronzer. As part of this launch Hourglass have also released a new Ambient Lighting Volume 3 palette and I'll insert a picture of that for you. But because I'm so fair, obviously these shades are too deep for me, so for that reason I've not picked up one of these palettes myself. Hourglass have received a lot of criticism for not being inclusive enough in their shade range, and I do agree with that. Um, hopefully this is a step forward and their way of starting to address this issue. But without seeing the palette myself, it's difficult to know because sometimes the promo picks can appear a bit darker than the palettes in real life. But if you have picked up this palette, then please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Starting with the Universe palette, and this finishing powder here is their Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. This is already part of their existing range, so if you already have the Infinity Powder in your collection, it's something to bear in mind because it is a third of the palette. I haven't tried the Infinity Powder before, and it was something I was planning on buying, so I'm really pleased that it's been included in the palette. It actually infuses three of their powders together, Dim Light, Diffuse Light, and also Hypnotic Strobe Light, so I'm really looking forward to trying this out. This is the Sculpture Palette from last year, and I'm really pleased that in this year's palette they have included the Infinity Powder and switched out the Dim Light and Diffuse Light. It's the third year that I'm buying these palettes now and it was starting to get a bit repetitive because I have these two powders in Sculpture, Ghost and also the Ambient Lighting One palette. In addition to the Infinity Powder there's also four new shades. So there's two blushes, Ambient Lighting Strobe Blush in the shade Vibrant Heat. This is a vibrant pink shade. If you don't know, strobe just means it has shimmer in it. Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Luminous Rose which is a soft plum. Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Glistening Bronze, which is described as a light golden bronzer. And Ambient Lighting Strobe Powder. This is a highlighter in the shade Supernatural Strobe Light, which is a light champagne. I do like the fact that there's four new shades in here, but what I would really prefer is a six pan palette with six brand new shades. This would stop the releases being a bit repetitive and I think also represent better value for money. And these are the shades in the Universe palette swatch. So again, you have the finishing powder, the two blush shades, the bronzer and the highlight. Moving on to the Universe Unlock palette, and I am really pleased that Hourglass have decided to bring out a second large palette this year. Again, this might be a step forward for the brand starting to be more inclusive. This palette has exactly the same layout as the Universe, a finishing powder, two blush shades, a bronzer and a highlight. There is two existing shades in this palette though. The finishing powder is in the shade Radiant Light which is a golden beige and as well as being sold individually this shade's also included in the Ambient Lighting Volume 2 palette. The other existing shade in here is the bronzer which is in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. So two things that I would think about is firstly, do you have those two shades in your existing makeup collection? And secondly, are those two shades deep enough for your skin tone? If you already have them in your collection or you can't use them because they're not deep enough for you, then that's half of the palette that you're not gonna get any benefit from straight away. And let's be honest, this is not a cheap palette. 
If I show you this palette closer up, there's two new ambient lighting blush shades. So these are the normal ambient lighting blushes. They don't have any shimmer in them. There's Rose Heat, which is a deep berry. Coral Flush, which is a bright peony. And there's also an ambient lighting metallic strobe powder in the shade Solar Strobe Light, which is a metallic champagne. And this is the Universe Unlock palette swatched. Again, a finishing powder, two blush shades, a bronzer and a highlight. I will say that these two blush shades do look really gorgeous. And because they are a bit deeper in tone, I think they probably would be suitable for deeper skin tones. But again, I haven't tested them out myself. So if you have bought this palette and do have a deeper skin tone, then please let us know your thoughts. Now we know a bit more about the palette, let's try these shades out on the face and I am going to zoom you in so you can take a closer look. The Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder did look quite reflective when I swatched it so for that reason I don't think I want to apply it all over the face but I am going to just apply some with this fan brush to the higher points just to see whether it gives a bit of luminosity to the skin. And actually you can see there is quite a nice subtle glow there so that's quite pretty. Again, I don't think I would want this all over my face as a true finishing powder um, in the way that I would use the other powders from Hourglass, but it does look quite nice just as sort of a candlelit glow. That's quite pretty. And I'm now applying the shade Luminous Rose to the higher point of my cheek, and that is a really pretty colour. Um, this is my type of blush shade, if I'm honest. Um, I could see myself really wanting to reach for this shade and it's just a nice natural flush of colour. I'm now applying the shade Vibrant Heat to the apple of my cheek and you can see straight away there's a difference between the two blush shades. This one is a lot more cool toned and I would say is more of a candy pink compared to Luminous Rose which is more of a natural flush of colour. You can see the difference between the two formulas as well, um, the reflectiveness of the strobe formula compared to the more luminous ambient lighting blush here. And I am just going to blend these shades together just to soften the look. I'm now dipping into the highlight shade and you can see straight away how reflective that formula is. That is a really beautiful sort of subtle champagne highlight. And I am going to again blend this in because I like to have more of a soft look on the cheek. And lastly, I'm trying the bronzer. So just applying that to my hairline and a little bit to the cheek, just to give a soft contour. But that's a really nice shade and I think probably um, a nice undertone for my skin tone. I'm also going to swatch the Universe Unlocked but because I am so fair I'm not really sure how these are going to look on me but we'll give them a try anyway. So starting with the finishing powder you can just see how that's sitting on my skin there. So yes this powder is a bit dark for me. And I'm applying the Coral Flush. That is a really pretty coral colour. I think I would probably go in with a lighter hand and maybe just blend that out with a bit of powder to soften it on my skin tone. But it is a really pretty colour. And for Rose Heat, I'm going to put that more towards the back. And that is very intense. You can see straight away how pigmented and deep that shade is. Both of these blushes are really pretty shades. I think they're probably a little bit dark for me. Um, if I was to use them, I'd have to use a very, very light hand. But if you've got a medium to deep skin tone, I think these would look absolutely beautiful on you. So just for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to add a bit of powder to soften the intensity of these shades. And actually, when they're blended with some powder, they do look really pretty. Going in with the bronzer next. And I will say the formula of these powders are beautiful. They do feel really nice on the skin. And actually, I do really like that bronzer. I think I could probably get away with wearing it. Whether it would be deep enough for somebody with a medium to dark skin tone though, I'm not sure. And lastly, for the highlighter, 
and I'm just applying the highlight shade now. Formula wise it's a really pretty highlight but shade wise this one is too dark for me. I can really see that sitting on top of my cheek here but again if you had a medium or deeper skin tone this would look really nice. Um, for me, although it's too dark for a highlight, um, I think it would be a nice inner corner highlight and I may use it as an eyeshadow shade. So these are the two bronzer shades from the new palettes. This one's from the Universe and this one, the Universe Unlocked. And I've just compared that with the bronzer from the Sculpture palette and also the Ghost palette. So as you can see, all of them do look fairly similar. I would say out of the four, this one's the most unique. It does have more of a golden tone. Um, but these three here do look very similar. And these are all of the blush shade swatch. So the first two are from the Universe palette. Next two from the Universe Unlocked. These two here are from the Sculpture palette. And the last two are from the Ghost palette. I think generally speaking all of the blushes look quite different. The only two that look a little bit similar are these two here. So this one from the Ghost palette and the pink shade from the Universe Unlocked. And lastly you have the four highlight shades, I hope they're showing up okay on camera. So this one from the Universe palette, Universe Unlocked, Sculpture and Ghost. So you can clearly see out of the four highlight shades that the one from the Universe Unlocked is a lot deeper. So again I think more suitable for medium to deep skin tones. The other three shades are fairly similar. This one has got more of a pink undertone, whereas these two have more of a golden tone, I would say. I do think that both of these are absolutely stunning palettes. I really enjoy the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders anyway, whether that is finishing powders, blushes, bronzers or highlights. I perhaps would have liked to have seen a slightly deeper bronzer in the Universe Unlock palette. It felt like the bronzer in here was slightly light compared to the highlight shade and the blushes. But overall, I do think they are gorgeous palettes and I think if you were to get somebody one of these for Christmas, they would absolutely enjoy it. Whether these palettes are worth the money for you, I think it very much depends what you have in your collection already. If you're new to Hourglass as a brand, then I would definitely recommend picking up one of these. It's a nice way to try a few of their products all in one compact palette. But I am pleased that I picked this up and I'm glad to have it in my makeup collection. I'm sure this one especially I will be getting a lot of use out of. As usual, I'll link both of these palettes in the description box below just in case you want to check them out for yourself. But if you are thinking of picking up something from this collection, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested in what you guys are buying as well. But that's everything for today's video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching guys and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you on my next one.